So this is the example where uh, we are uh, producing the message to the Kafka, you know, uh, through the, this Kafka template. Uh, but earlier what I was doing, like uh, I was producing the message, but not returning any response. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, calling the send method. But in this case, uh, what I'm doing is like I'm whenever I'm producing the message, I'm listening to the listenable future and returning the result and populating whether it is, uh, you know, is there any failure or is it a success? We could log it. Or if you want, we can return some kind of response through it. So this is a, a kind of uh, asynchronous because it uh, uses the listenable future. Whenever the response comes, it will, you know, come back with the with the result, whatever the response is. So, yeah, so this is what this example is all about. So I'm going to start it. Uh, the topic name is test. So, application, the controller, message control API, create, message DTO, Yes, this API call is already there. Create API DTO, yeah. So this is already there. Let's see if it's starting. So the port number is four times four. Times four. So let me close all of them first. I'll put a debug point here. So now I'm calling it. I guess it came here. Yeah, it came in. So it just produces the masses. Correct. So it just produces the masses. response because uh, last time if you remember I deleted the topic okay let me create the topic through the uh, through my client admin tool so how is it oh, uh, this one let me create the topic first. Run as application. Okay, the jar is not there, so I need to install it. In the last video, if you could remember, I deleted the you know uh, the zookeeper and the Kafka logs. That is why that topic is also not there. So first, I need to create the topic. Then only I can produce. So, yeah, start in. Or you could use the command line in that part as well. That is that is also another option. So my topic so the API was the create topic. Yeah. This one. Let me call this topic. What is the test topic? So let me create it. Success. I see the log. Yeah, it created the topic test. So definitely this call will fail. I have to request the another one. Yeah, 
here. So ID in case it created that topic or oh, that message. So here come on. Wait. Let me see the future. Set the back. Let me go ahead with the response. So Yeah, it is uh, getting created there. So we don't have the listeners. So can't see the same message. Let me reproduce the same message again. Mm, I did it should no intent to one of the yeah all success. So the result is all success. So this message is actually produced with this test topic. So you can see. So this is the one of the way you know creating the message uh, through the uh, Kafka uh, template and uh, you know by using the listener of future uh, you could actually uh, wait for the response and log or if there is any case for example if uh, you know and due to some reason that message failed you could actually call back it here so that it will retry kind of retry mechanism right so. Or you, right now I'm just logging in, but you can add the retime mechanism here also. So this is all about this uh, uh, asynchronous uh, message producer. So yeah, uh, meet you in the next video. Thank you.